All right, here we are Sunday afternoon. Right there is one of my favorite cellar holes. Never seems to surprise me. But something's telling me to come back with all the rain we've had. We've got a bunch of nice coins right out of the road right here. I got a decent signal right here. Haven't dug it yet. Debating on it. There's a lot of standing water right here. She's gonna fill up with water quick and it's a deep target. But that's the way back out. But anyway, I'm gonna play around here for a little bit and I spotted a place up on the railroad tracks. The railroad tracks are up there. Looks like there may have been a foundation or something at one point and I might just mosey my way over and find out what it is. Anyway, I'll get back to you if I find anything. Alright, first solo hole finds of the day. Melted lead. But there's something pretty cool about one of these pieces. Drop that one on the ground. This one right here. Looks like it has the imprint of the plants on the ground when it melted and solidified. Kind of cool, but still just lead. Anyway, all right, first coin of the day. No idea. I'm thinking it's an Indian. So, give me just a second and I'll wipe her off and I'll get back to you. All right, and there it is. One cent with the shield and the wreath, so it's definitely an Indian. And as for a year, I believe it is 1897. And just to show you where I'm at. Right there's the cellar hole. There's the road in. This place never ceases to amaze. I've hammered the hell right out of this place so many times, but there's always something. And six inches down was another Indian. I think this is the sixth Indian I've got out of here, sixth or seventh. But I don't know if you can hear my machine. It's starting to go a little crazy. I was talking with Jaron there a couple of weeks ago about. EMI and high tension power lines and I am right underneath them <laughs> Some days I can hunt here with a little bit of chatter on the machine and other days I can't even get within 20 yards of this place or It just goes crazy. I guess it all depends on how much juice is flowing down these lines, but As you can see I am right underneath them Today ain't that bad. So I'm really not having that much of an issue with the EMI I'll show you where my machine's running. Pro Zero. I'm only one bar down on my sensitivity. I can turn it down another bar and it should quiet it down a little bit. But anyway, God, I love this all. Old. Get back to digging. Maybe there's one or two more of them in here for me. If I find anything, I'll let you know. All right. Heaviest find of the day. I found a bunch of these. They're window weights. Or door weights. I don't know if they were used in, like, barn doors or not. I think so. This one. Number six. Must be a six-pounder. Feels about right. weird it's probably about the sixth one I've found here too oh well cool finds they all tell a story in somebody's house I've done the homework on this place I know the name and the family history the last fellow that lived here was a Civil War vet and I found all his military records and everything it's pretty cool his, uh, his family was pretty easy to trace back to about 1700, but I believe he died in like 
1902 or 1904 and I can't find any evidence or records that this place was inhabited after that point and the ground is just as black as can be I'm pretty sure it burned down I find charred wood and square nails everywhere but done a pile of history on the place found a lot of cool stuff here it was a great spot I love this place never gets old it's never hunted out so keep going back and keep hitting them but anyway until I find something else all right so here's how detecting turns interesting I got this copper signal and I got these copper wire but I saw something white in the hole off. And I dug these up. I am not a hundred percent sure, but I believe it's a clay pipe stem. Oh wait a second, it says something on it. Scotland. When the hell was the last time you saw something that said Scotland on it? <laughs> cool. But, well, I thought it was a pipe stem. May very well be. They had small holes in them, and you can actually date clay pipe stems by the diameter of the hole. So as insignificant and whatnot as that may seem, I'm still going to take it home with me. Because I believe that's what it is. I believe it's a clay pipe stem. Interesting. I've never seen one with Scotland on it though. Hmm. Pretty cool. Oh well, on to the next. I just dug up a piece of coal. Can't say as I have many of these set the detector off. Unless they're burnt and coal slagged, but this is looks like an unburnt piece of coal. I'll show you something. It sets the damn pinpointer off. Oh well. I don't want to be digging lumps of coal all day. I'm sure Santa Claus will bring me one or two of them. But anyway, back to digging. I only got about a half hour of daylight left. I never did make it over to the railroad tracks where I wanted to go. Find one damn Indian. Now I can't stop digging. But that's how it goes. The site's been here this long. I'm sure it'll be here another another couple days. But anyway, I'll get back to you if I find anything else. All right. True to all cellar holes. Or spoons. Boy, this one's seen a hard life. <laughs> it, uh, I like the shine of it. I rub the back of it. There are some words and whatnot there. But I'm not squinting that hard to try to read them right now. I'll check it out when I get home. If it's not silver, I bet it's plated. It looks it. But anyway, typical. About a dollar for every spoon part I've found. Oh well. Cool digs. On to the next one. Okay, this one's got me worked up a little bit. I'm out of that little hole right there, about six inches down. Popped out that little beauty right there. I don't have the slightest freaking idea what it is. Looks to be a pin. With a big ass pearl. Looks to be some gold gilled. And possibly some stones in there. 
that's what we like to see it's not all coins these these are the finds that make it fun oh I don't know if I should rub it or if I should just leave it the way it is and take it home and clean it that's a big ass pearl cool I'm guessing it's just a pin and not an earring could be an earring I don't know hard to not know I don't wear them but good score I got that spoon right there the cellar hole is right behind that pole so I'm not very far away I'm right in the road that's awesome even if it's junk it's awesome I wasn't expecting to find something like that cool beans anyway I'll clean her up I only got a few minutes left she's starting to get dark but I'll get back to you if I find anything else. Alright, now here's the find I don't see very often at solar holes. Clad coinage. <laughs> 64 Jefferson nickel. This junk, there's nothing special about the 64 year on, on nickels. You don't find silver ones so you get the war nickels. And those are only for a couple of years. But I think she got quite the ding on the top of it too, but oh well. That's my favorite part of solo holes is not finding much of that. <laughs> like I did on Friday. But anyway, I'm gonna try to get in a couple more holes. She's starting to get pretty dark. My camera's doing actually pretty good in the low light. But, anyway, I'm about ready to head her home and clean up my finds. But, if I get anything else between here and the truck, I'll let you know. Anyway, it's been a good day.